by office is service. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work where many opportunities arise to help others both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation, compensation or public recognition is the quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to the creation of a better tomorrow. Leadership will be read by 12th grade Maria Bernardino. The candle of leadership will be lit by 11th grade Katie Lewis. I like this candle for leadership. Willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interest of others. The leader has self confidence and will move forward with other citizens. No matter what power and resources may exist in a school, community, or nation, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed, thus, to lead is a meaningful and substantive charge to each of our members. Character will be read by. 11th grade Tyler Kessler. The candle of character will be lit by 11th grade Katie Lewis. I like this candle for character. Character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our individuality, our goodness. It is that without which no one can respect oneself, nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and, once developed, grows steadily within. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant thought and action, the daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others, to be rather than to seem. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may, may hope to provide by example that we value character. At this time, at this time, with the new inductees, please raise your right hand and repeat the pledge. The audience can follow as sent in an email. Right? I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands will maintain and encourage the high standards of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Thank you all for that. And now, Mr. Tolan and Ms. Silverstein will call the names of each member to be recognized. The following students have met the criteria for induction to the National Honor Society this year. Uh, from the 10th grade, Joseph Badger, Melva Bernardino, Luke Kessler, Amani Colon, Deku Gay, Bard Greenwood, Sarai Lukes, Sean Mitchell, Emily Urchima, and Alyssa Vandenberg. The following students from the 11th grade 
have met the criteria for induction to the National Honor Society this year. From the 11th grade, Jay Addison, Tyler Kessler, Millie Condi, Mia Etienne, Asher Perros, Ishkar Perros, Eve Holt, Priski La, Katie Lewis, Logan McCumber, Giselle Morales, Jasani Page, Malak Rahiba, Grace Ryan, Christian Smith, Seamus Tibbet, and Pan Young. I'll get it. The following students have met the criteria for induction to the National Honor Society this year from the 12th grade and my first grade as principal of this school, Anastasia Abram Skinner, Olivia Amidio, Tan Tan Ai, Julia Bernardino, Maria Bernardino, Blue Gay, Dajanae Bunch, Dajanae Bunch, C.C. Cicero, Maya Clark, Ozaria Courtright, Tamia Cousins, Asani Hamilton, Christer Tu, Michael Marcellus, Maddie McTeague, Josh Miller, June Mu, Christer Say, Gabriel Silverstein, Athos So, Bang Trin, and Anthony Verducezzi. So everybody, you can kind of give them all a big hand right now. Come on, so. 